Are you excited about the possibility of Randy Orton returning to the scene? Because this was posted up on the front page of the website. Randy Orton's WWE return looks to be about a month away. Dave Meltzer confirmed in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, which is up for subscribers right now, that Survivor Series is the suggested time frame for Orton's return. He's had a, a jacked up back for a while. He underwent back fusion uh, surgery in 2022, and he has been out since then. Uh, Cowboy Bob Orton at one point in May, and uh, this past May, he said that doctors have, he believes that doctors told his son to just stop wrestling altogether, but Orton has been training for a comeback now for a while. And hey, Survivor Series, if I'm sure there's a lot of people there who are blind to anything we're talking about here, and they may actually believe that CM Punk is going to be coming back. Roman Reigns is not going to be on that show. Is this really the perfect place for Randy Orton to come back? If there's not going to be a return of CM Punk, if there's not going to be Roman Reigns in any capacity, which is surprising to me, uh, I thought that they were heading towards some sort of bloodline and Judgment Day matchup, uh, but with Roman Reigns on the sideline for that show, I would think that's not going to happen. So if you're going to bring somebody back if you're going to have a big return in the world of the wwe there's not many other people who they could bring back right now who would be on the level of a randy orton so if he's ready to go now i think that's the perfect time i think you save it till then you have the big return and people go home happy even without cm punk even without roman reigns even without filthy tom waller on that show <laughs> well, Randy Orton, 43 years old, but certainly not old by any means, but in athlete terms, he is getting up there a little bit. And with back fusion surgery and issues with his back, that kind of accelerates the aging process for most people. Obviously, there's a ton of money on the line here because they've got a ton of money but then again, I would assume so does Randy Orton. Uh, do you see this being, you know, just throwing out all the speculation in the world, do you see this being a relatively short-term thing, maybe a year, 18 months? Or do you see this being, you know, a long-term thing for him to really kind of rake in as much as he can before he finally kisses the whole thing off? I think what he should be doing is kind of making these big match appearances. Uh, kind of like a schedule, like an edge or somebody that they had over the past few years. I don't think he needs to be on Raw working every week. And one thing that's happened in his time away is that his tag partner, Matt Riddle, is no longer employed by the company. So there's no storyline. There's no built-in storyline for him to come back and be able to be on the apron and get the hot tag and the matches and kind of hide I don't want to see his age but the wear and tear on his body that he's accumulated so far so you know you could put him in one of those roles again but like I said the natural one that they had built up is no longer even a, even a possibility going back and having the RK bro team so you know maybe they find somebody else and kind of switch somebody into that Matt Riddle-esque role that they had him in before, or, you know, he maybe just cuts down on his schedule. Like he, like I said, he doesn't need to be on raw wrestling every week. He could be doing vignettes or just not even on the show. If he doesn't have a worthwhile program coming up. The team with Riddle from the time they put it together, everybody was waiting on Randy Orton to turn and it seems to be that that's what they were going to do, but you had to ride the hot hand of how people were treating that team and cheering for Team RKO. Now that Matt Riddle's out of the mix, uh, you bring back Randy Orton, he's probably going to be a, a huge baby face. And at the Survivor Series, you know, who knows how, if he comes out, how you want to go ahead and debut him. For you right now, do you... I know how I would do it, Mike. What God. I would do is I would have the... RKO News Network come back. 
I love that. There's so like instead of his shoulder, it's now his back. We can get updates on to see if he's ninety six point seven percent cleared to wrestle. Yeah, and he'll <laughs> br- he'll break out. He'll bring back the vaunted finisher, the ozone. <laughs> which was a variation of the play of the day. Well, do you see, can you see him coming back? Do you believe he would come back? Or do you think it makes more sense for him to come back as a baby face and be an opponent for Roman Reigns, maybe even at the Royal Rumble? Cause that would be a huge match to have. Or is he the guy that comes in and maybe lays out John Cena since John Cena is going to be gone anyway to try to make sure you get as many boos as you possibly can for Randy Orton on that night and make him, I don't know, somebody that goes after Cody or somebody else. Yeah, my mind initially went to him going after Seth Rollins if you're going to have some sort of baby face in that role. Either way, it's going to get a reaction you know if he comes back obviously you would think putting him in the babyface role since he was attacked and beaten up uh on the way out i think or written off a little bit uh he's got the legendary status so the fans are gonna go crazy when he runs in or his music hits but it's randy orton and this guy has been a great heel throughout his career he's done his best work as a heel and Much like you talked about Roman Reigns, him facing Roman Reigns, sure, that's a match you could do. Maybe you bring him back and you get it out of the way. But he could have a schedule like Roman Reigns. He could be doing essentially the same thing on Raw that Roman Reigns is doing on SmackDown. And I don't think anybody would think any less of Randy Orton and his place in the business at this point. He'd be a great guy to have for the Judgment Day, wouldn't he? that That would be very interesting. I mean, that would be extremely interesting to to buck up against that. Or, look, if he comes back as a babyface, if Drew McIntyre's in with the Judgment Day and we'll assume that Rock isn't coming back and they're going to be squaring up Cody Rhodes against Roman Reigns, I mean... Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre is a WrestleMania match. Randy Orton and and Finn Balor would be a WrestleMania match, or even Orton with somebody, like you're suggesting, if he does take a partner on at some point, sort of like, you know, the team with RKO, is just so he can have, be able to stand outside the ring and let somebody else do some of the work. No matter how you kind of cut that scenario, it's a really good, it's a really good one for a WrestleMania match. Yeah, now that we talk about it, I'm kind of intrigued by all of the different opportunities that, you know, Randy Orton has coming back. I guess, you know, absence, him as a salty absence, bastard, though. Yeah. I like, like I the get... idea of him as a salty bastard, especially with guys like if Carmelo Hayes and guys like that are coming up, that old crusty person that would just RKO anybody, regardless if they're a baby face or a heel. Maybe that's the best way to go to him. He really is an island amongst himself. Yeah, I mean, he could just go the the old Jumbo Saruta route. You know what I mean? And just stiff all the younger guys. <laughs> hey, I, I'm all for whatever Randy Orton's doing on his way back in. I hope he's back sooner than later. You have Max Caster on Wednesday was giving MGF unwelcome physical groping. Daddy Ass has been calling himself Mr. Ass for decades now. And then you have the Iron Savages. All these men want to do in their own words, is eat their opponent's asses. Yeah. Anthony Bones is the straightest guy in this match. Tony Storm also ate ass. What's going on here? Sky Blue has a very... um, Thick. Thank you. Uh, Backside, of course, Tony's the same way. So they had to one-up that somehow. Kira Hogan, well, she fits the bill. Kira is running wild, and Tony cuts her off by... Eating her ass. This is the kinkiest wrestling show I've seen in a long, long time. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.